Hey, what's up guys? Today I have with me Renault Grand Scenic 2022 version and in this video we will make the test drive. We will see how is to drive this super nice family car. Before we start driving guys, I want to tell you that I'm here at Garage Gallicker in Switzerland. I will leave the link in the description if you want to test drive the car. If you want to see the car, check them out. Also, if you want to buy it, tell them you come from me and you will get a nice discount. Now, I want to tell you more information about the car and then we will start driving. The version that I have with me is the Grand Scenic that comes with a 1.3 liter TCI petrol engine with 158 horsepower. This is the black edition if you want to find out more information about the exterior, interior, all this material quality and stuff like that. Check out the other video. I will have a separate video on my channel. If it's not already there, click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out. Also, very important to say the starting price of the car of this version is 41,000 francs here in Switzerland. In your country, may the price be better for sure. Keep this in mind. Also, all these options that the car come with, you will see it also in the other video. Because because this video I will try to focus more on driving then the car come also with some extra features for example the metallic color uh, spare tire then you have the third row seat and you have the head-up display that is 400 francs extra the final price will go to 43,350 francs but here at Gallicar Auto uh, you will get a 5,000 francs discount so the final price will be 38,350 francs I will add the price in dollars so we can make an idea as well but in your country the price may be better uh, the weight of the car 1714 kilograms 6.9 liter consumption 156 co2 grams emission is in the d efficient class d now i want to give you more uh, technical data and then we will start driving as i said the car come with a 1.3 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 158 horsepower 270 newton meters the front wheel drive system that comes also with a seven speed dual clutch automatic now the fuel tank capacity 50 liters 0 to 109.7 seconds top speed 200 km per hour the ground clearance 15.9 centimeters it comes with ventilated brake this on the front only this brakes on the rear 11.4 meters the turning radius also the car come with the independent mcpherson suspension coil spring with anti-roll bar in the front on the rear we have multi-link torsion bar with anti-roll bar those are the most important information if you want to find out even more about the car i will have a separate video check out the full review video with the same car if it's not already on the channel just check out next days guys or subscribe to see the notification also those are the most important information let's drive the car and in the end of course as always we will make the conclusion all right guys let's drive the car here is the key it's the same key as renault use it also on the other uh, models and what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car the car doesn't come with an automatic lift gate so for more details check out the full review there you can see everything about the car and then you have a button here to turn on the lights other than that this is the key uh, also it comes with a keyless entrance when you go away from the car look at this you don't have to press any button the car will lock for you in a few seconds you can see and also when you come close you don't have to press anything the car will unlock for you it's also on settings there in the multimedia yeah usually it should unlock but anyway it comes also with uh, electric folding mirrors also it has 20 inch rims this model that i have right here they look just lovely on the car uh, brake this on the rear ventilated brake this on the front the rims look phenomenal i love the shape of the car i love the design of the car it's really interesting for a family car the design is quite modern and this black edition package uh, but yeah guys if you want to find out everything about the car check out the full review video i have a separate video uh, about the car interior exterior and all kind of stuff you have the black edition on a plate at the interior we have aluminium pedals manual adjustable seats seats in leather combination with alcantara here in the middle a pretty nice design on the seats and also the quality it's very very good on the seats uh, other than that let's go inside the car okay also what i notice is the quality of the doors it's very very good when you close the door they sound really really good they put a lot of quality in the doors 
let me put the seat belt also very comfortable those seats very bright very nice uh, you have a very nice position of driving here i like this armrest right here you can also adjust the armrest with all this body of the armrest i should say a lot of space here a lot of space here two usb port two cup holders a lot of space down here we have a 12 volt port down there everything is positioned very well here i like that the car come with electronic handbrake uh, from here you can change different driving mode let me start the engine here's the start stop engine button start the engine and i want to show you something from here guys from this button you can change different driving modes uh, you press it and you go in sport or comfort mode every time you change the driving mode you change also the display right there uh, the cockpit you have also echo mode neutral and personal mode where you can personalize and customize the way you want to drive it we will drive in echo also the car come with a head-up display that looks quite nice i like the head-up display even though it's if it's an, on this plastic i like very much the resolution inside there the resolution it's lovely i mean it's perfect uh, you can see it really really clear and that's a good thing now guys steering wheel in leather good size easy to maneuver behind the steering wheel you have the controllers for the multimedia and, and sound and here you have the controller for the uh, cruise control and lane assist and here you have the controllers and you can see uh, there some information you can choose what you like to see then of course i just reset the average consumption so that's really good reset it and we will see what will be the consumption of the car this mirror here quite big good visibility good visibility around the windows also we have big huge mirrors with blind spot technology on them uh, here this a pillar is split in two i want to see how it's if it's disrupting uh when you drive and uh if it's distract your attention uh, i will find out we will find out together now the car have also a reverse camera when you go in reverse you can see you have reverse camera with active lines the resolution is not the best but it's okay it's useful also you can go in drive normal drive if you go right you go in manual if you go down and up you change the gears manual if you want to do that other than that the car doesn't come with auto hold this is the only downside that i find so you have to stay with your foot on your brake all the time when you are on the uh, stop sign or stuff like that or you can activate the electronic handbrake so other than that the seats are super comfortable i love the seats i love the headrest i love the way you sit here on those seats and yeah let's drive it guys let me put in in drive mode i think 158 horsepower is more than enough uh, for a family car also the multimedia it's simple to use you have also the climatic system by the way down here you can turn it on and off very simple and from here you can choose uh, the temperature so for example 90 degrees you have dual zone climatic system some uh, buttons here you have echo mode that gets you directly to the echo mode and yeah so on so forth so first of all uh, my first impression is that the car have a very very tall driving position so you have a good visibility from here you have to adjust the seats although manual if you want to um, but it's quite fine let's drive it yeah first impression in echo mode the steering is not very assisted so you have to turn a little bit on it we will see also the sound insulation we will talk about everything in the video yes you can see really clear in the head-up display i have to tell i have to tell you that this is probably the best head-up display on a plastic piece and not directly on the windshield because it's very clear the resolution there on the head-up display it's incredible incredible clear you can change different things here for example you can set up the cruise control speed and stuff like that it's very very simple uh, but yeah first impression the sound insulation in the cabin it's good you cannot hear so much noise from outside also the car come with led lights uh, head bin low bin are leds 
also it comes with automatic high beam nice lights you can see in the night time also it has a nice very nice um, lights background light it look nice behind the, the buttons it has a nice white color Take the third exit. you can feel a little bit like it's a heavy big car it doesn't feel very very uh, light so when you accelerate when you change different Yes, it's not bad, it's not bad, but you, you really feel that heavy Take big the car. Take the first exit. This is really annoying, the, the um, navigation system, it's crazy annoying. But I want to leave it on because in this way you can see a little bit better the way it looks. Also, something that I like very much on the car are the wipers I will show you also when we go outside this tunnel the wipers are lovely the way they, they open in both directions and the way they clean um, the screen the windshield windscreen it's it's super super uh, nice the pedals feel good smooth and nice yeah one more time I'll look at this Look at this how nice they they work in both direction and they clean the the windscreen very very well we left you with a nice view clear nice view also this the windshield it's very long it's until here so you can see the sky it's a very nice pleasant uh position of driving and very nice view from here brakes are good as you see right here we don't have auto hold we have to hold all the time the foot on the on the brake so that's something that I wish it was different in the car other than that it's quite nice we are in echo mode let's change the driving mode let's go in comfort mode for example right now let's see how it's on comfort mode as you see already the colors are different of course the acceleration Wow acceleration it's much much um, responsive and it's changed the gears a little bit later Keep left, then turn left. also the navigation it's very good you can see here you see all the information about the streets and roads and where you should go where you should turn also you see the directions on the head-up display just the direction not the map so you cannot see the map on the screen there I want to turn off the climatic system let it down just like that it's nice and, and the sound insulation it's very good inside the cabin you have great visibility nice comfort on those seats I feel really really comfortable I feel like it's a good quality being here inside the, the car good visibility on the multimedia here the buttons you can reach it easy also in the back there you have some ambient light down here you can see it's in blue right now it's quite quite nice Wow, and the car is quite responsive, even though it's heavy, it's it's really responsive. Uh, this seven-speed automatic dual clutch transmission, it's also very very good. I like it. It's smooth, it's nice. Suspension. Take the next left, then at end of the Suspension are also good. They are comfortable. We have independent suspension in the front, multi-link beam bars on the rear. It's quite good. It's quite comfortable being inside After the cabin. 350 meters, turn back at the roundabout, taking the fourth exit. I have to tell you that it's quite similar with uh, Ford Focus. Uh, Ford S Max, sorry guys. <laughs> it's very similar in terms of driving feeling. Uh, I feel like this one is a little bit higher on the ground and a little bit heavier. It feels 
a little bit more heavier to drive it. You can see here on the roundabouts the turning it's it's quite quite easy. You can turn it very easy, it's not it's not it's not super assisted the steering wheel, but not heavy, it's somewhere be between those two. It, it's it's great. Also we have 20 inch rims and uh, the handlings feel super good. So the car it feels also a little bit sportier. It feels like it stays really good on the road. That's something to keep in mind. Um, other than that, 10.3 liters is consumption until now. Okay, not bad. It's quite fine. Uh, but I think at long trips, uh, the consumption should be even, even, even better. After 300 meters, turn right. I like the head-up display. I like it very much. And I'm not saying that to all these head of display that are on the plastic, I don't like, I, I usually I hate them, but this one is quite good. I can, I can Take the next complain one. about it. So it's also easy to drive in the city, the brakes are good, responsive, steering it's good. Let's change the driving mode, let's go in sport mode guys, let's see the sport mode, now it's red there. Everything it's red, responsive. No, the car it's it's, it's really good. I can complain about uh, anything until now. Like a family car, it's it's relatively good. The only thing that I wish it has here is the auto hold uh, button function. Uh, also, they can improve a little bit the cockpit here to make it a little bit more complicated in the future. Um, but the view it's nice doesn't bother me at all whoa it's even responsive now in sport mode guys uh, it doesn't bother me at all this a pillar split in two i mean i have very good visibility very very good visibility now in sport mode it's it's much more responsive the acceleration and the pedal i don't know if someone would buy this car for sporty driving but still It's nice, it's responsive, I tell you. It's it's quite responsive. So you have kind of more options in the car. This is great. Uh, it's great to have these different driving modes. The steering, although, is the same. It's, it's not a big difference. I don't feel any big difference between the driving modes. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't feel like it's different. In 60 meters, turn left. Wow, but in the curve it stays very good with those 20 inch rims. It stays lovely on the on the curves. Brakes are good. Yes sir. Lovely. Wow. I like it. But I don't know, maybe it's changed something in the steering wheel and I'm I'm not paying attention to. Take the next one. Let's go to comfort again. Yes, yes, it's much more softer. And now sport mode. Yes, they change it. It's a little bit more stiffer. Now I understand. But wow, the, the rims are great. The 20 inch rims make the car have an incredible stability. So guys, family car with sport functions. Very good. Over those big bumps, it's doing fine. No, the suspension are also good. You can see right now the RPM stay higher. It's changed the gears much later. This this dual dual uh, clutch automatic transmission, it's really good. I tested before and it's it's super super good. Now the turning radius of the car 11.4 meters. It's also relatively good. I like it. It's it's Routing really really good. Take the next left. Now, good visibility. After also, meters, turn yes, finally I I make it. Shut up. 
but overall it's great and it doesn't bother me this a pillar there i was worried a little bit in the beginning but um, you have a good visibility over the bumps super comfort um, and also uh, the steering feel quite good in sport mode. It's much more sportier. It's, it feels a little bit more heavier I notice that when I accelerate and again here We have 80 here and there's nobody around Yes, perfect 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 perfect. It feels quite quite good guys Now here it's 80 um, computer doesn't know that doesn't see the signs now it comes 50 anyway it stays quite good on those kind of curves um, you have a good control over it it's good it's a good car it's a it's a good car Renault make make good cars with good prices and good quality in the last years and I like it French people really step up the game in the last time Great tall driving position. I feel like I'm in an SUV to be honest And the clutch it's really good the gear shifter. It's quite quite good it the only thing that I notice I'm not sure if it's only this car or are all models let's change the driving mode let's go in echo mode press this button directly in echo it's silent it's silent it's good it's good it's quite good This is the only thing you have to hold the foot on your brakes because you don't have auto hold but overall it's a good car it's a good car also good all arounder i'm not sure in the city because it's a little bit bigger it will be a little bit more complicated to park it uh, but for trips for practicality the car it's it's gorgeous splendid come on boy So that was our trip guys, that was our test drive, let me park it back, yeah overall it's a good car, it, it is a good car indeed, also if you want to park the car, let me show you, going in reverse, turn the steering wheel a little bit, good visibility, it's good on the mirrors, uh, good visibility on this camera, even though it's a small camera, the resolution is not the best one, but it's relatively good I like it oh, I really like it look 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 how easy it is to park it also we have six parking sensors on the front six on the rear uh, but more about those information you can check out guys I have a separate video boom just like that parking and you can see when you park it the electronic handbrake will automatically engage so that's good i like that when you put it in park the handbrake are also uh, automatic on so pretty good guys i think for the price of the car this car offer a lot of things 
and I like it overall I think it's a good car the consumption 10.8 liters I don't know why it's so much I was expected somehow to be a little bit better but I don't know maybe on the on the highway maybe on longer trips it's a brand new car so probably that why but overall i like many things inside this car if you want to find out more about the car i will have a separate video full review interior exterior so check out next days probably it's already there if it's not already there just click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out my rating for this renault grand scenic from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 this is my rating they have to improve uh, a few things here and there but overall it's a very good car also guys if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car if you want to test drive it check out Gallicor garage in switzerland if you are around here also tell them you see my video and you will uh, receive a nice discount you come from me anyway i hope it was useful if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask thank you very much for watching my videos i guess i see you soon in the next one don't forget to like share and subscribe Stay safe, see you guys.